I love extremes, so to go to the Arctic and look into the eyes of the world's largest land carnivore is an opportunity I couldn't turn down. Look at them having a little play. The ice is freezing. There's no snow though, is there? I suppose the real question is why would anyone build a town right in the middle of polar bear country? We'd cross the Atlantic, up to Winnipeg and further north to Churchill, perched on a spit of land jutting into the Hudson Bay. Polar bears are strict carnivores. They spend the winter hunting and eating seals and can eat up to 300 pounds of meat, the weight of two people in a single sitting. Living with these potential man-eaters is a real problem for the people of Churchill and one that needs policing. So the, you got to be very careful when you go out at yeah. night, if you go out at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how do we go out at night? You don't? You drive? Yeah, oh, or... sure, you can go out at night. I mean, you just have to be careful. I mean... Uh... So if you see one and you're walking around, do you run like... Do you run very <laughs> no, fast? No, no. Or do you stand still and scream? With my size, I cannot run very much. <laughs> <laughs> I get tired very fast. So do you got any pictures of yourself or anything I can give to my kids? Yeah, I do, yeah. I love that movie. Okay. Darth Maul, okay. the bad guy. Darth Maul in the film, he speaks like this. Kill them, all of them. Exactly. Yeah. And then in real life, he's like, "All right, good morning, mate. All right, I'm gonna cut your head, and then you deflect off the left leg, <laughs> and I'll come round and cut your cheek." That's difficult. <laughs> yeah. And what does it feel like when a bear's charging towards you? How do you feel oh. at that moment? What I do is I go down on one knee, right. make myself smaller, and I, you really have to focus on what you're doing. You can't make a dumb decision like turn and try to run away, because uh, you you have to stand your ground. And it's um, and the bait is is what? It's seal. Seal oil. Yeah. Okay. The bear comes up, smells the seal oil on the rag, and then um, eats the rag. We'll make sure everything's safe before, before we, all we get out. Get into it, but that's no problem. Oh, look at that. By the time we got to the scene, the bear had already been tranquilized. Uh, it's a bear we handled before. The ear tags are gone, so we're going to have to give it new ear tags. Yes. Uh, but it has a lip tattoo, so we'll find out which bear this is. And is that the blood on the back? Is that from the dart? That's from the dart, yeah. Which, because it's a white animal, it looks like it's bleeding a lot. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of blood. We'll give it some hibitane and some penicillin. Can I touch him? Yeah. He's out. He's fine. There's my finger, and that's his tooth. You know in that film with a shark and it's out for the count and then it turns around and goes, Arr! just thought of that. The size of that thing. There's the claws in the man, look. Jesus Christ, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> in the past, a bear caught near town would have been shot. Thanks to the polar bear alert program, they are now given another chance. God almighty, that's heavy. Where does it go, Wade, now? No, it goes to the holding facility. Yeah. Polar bear jail, as some people The jail. It. See, I quit smoking, I don't puff okay. as much anymore. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Every ray of hope was gone. I should have known that you would come along. Can't believe I ever doubted you. My old friend, the blues, another lonely night in endless time. If sleep does... Oh God, that must look like a big one to me. This big? Yeah. <laughs> He's having a yawn? Yeah. Right now they look slow and lumbery and everything, but this bear, when he moves fast, is like lightning speed. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. So that's why we have to be ready to get in the cars if he comes. Oh, yeah. That's just you can gorgeous. See his wake, eh? The polar bear completely disappears under the water and then he breaks up through the ice and then shakes himself off like a dog. <laughs> what an extraordinary place. You're a bit stuck now, mate. Look, he's stuck on his butt. <laughs> but interesting. There he is, look. And we're all, we've all now been told to get in the vehicles because he might be going to sleep. <laughs> no, but we mustn't laugh because safety is everything, of course. 
Yeah, but this bear is trying to break out. It's trying to um, look. It's a huge wild animal in a tube. It's just horrible to see that. And there's a big lump of seal meat there, and I guess saying if he was, you know, he would eat that if he wasn't, if he was in a relaxed frame of mind. Well, we were asking for it, and boy, we certainly got it. We've been waiting for the snow, and um, here it is. We're imagining nice Christmas card images of little snowflakes drifting, or big snowflakes drifting down. The, the, wind, the wind's blowing it horizontal, and it's freezing. But um, it's beautiful, it's exactly the way it should look, I think. And um, of course, now that it's uh, colder and there's more snow, more bears will be coming in. But here it is. Woohoo! <laughs> Just let it crawl, that's all we gotta do. Is that the ice? Yeah, just follow the broken ice part there. We're, we're going on the ice? Yeah, we're gonna drive through the lake here. And go we're going the on the ice in this huge, yeah, oh yeah. huge yeah, bus. Do you think that's wise to go on the ice? Oh yeah, no problem. Just follow the broken trail on the ice there and uh, we'll go to the camp. Well, we're going on the ice, which I think is a really stupid idea. But here we are. Does it slow? Life preservers are underneath the seats. <laughs> I think my acting days are over. I quite fancy driving this for the rest of my days. <laughs> Got a bar at the back and we'll be laughing. <laughs> this is the first time you've seen a polar bear in the wild. Oh, it is awesome. Yeah. Because you breed them, is that right? You've, you've bred polar bear cubs in Denver Zoo, is that right? Well, yes, I'm a zoo veterinary technician. Uh huh. And I had the opportunity to raise two baby polar bears. Yeah? Yeah, Klondike and Snow. It was so neat. <laughs> I got <laughs> to sleep with them and really? swim with them, and oh, it was awesome. <laughs> Hello. You've got beautiful eyes. There's dogs with blue eyes, two blue eyes and dogs with one blue eye and one brown eye. And you don't have any blue eyes. Oh, sweetie. Not to worry. Not to be messed with, I think. Hey, my friend. You don't like to sit still too long, eh? Yeah, yeah. They love it, huh? They love yep. the pulling the sled. Yeah, they enjoy it. Steer yep. the thing. Is yep. the just, steering? Just shift your weight from side to side. Whoa! Toby! That's it! Hup! Sir! Hey, Hup! Yes! This is the fellow. Oh, brilliant. Wish we had miles and miles and miles to go. It's fantastic. Go on now, whoop. Whoop, what did they say? Moosh! Over that way, watch yourself. No, oh, that's it, there we are. Go on now. Oh no! You can't know for sure how long the anaesthetic will last, but I couldn't resist the opportunity of a lifetime to pat a polar bear goodbye. It only lasted a few minutes, but it was great to be out there on the ice, alone in the middle of nowhere. God, it's freezing. They're quite happy in that temperature though, aren't they? It's not really that cold for a polar bear. It's only what, minus seven or eight just now. And these guys could just lie there and happily get drifted Tell over. Snow, yeah. Mm. yeah, it's no problem. You can see how good the insulation is on their fur because um, you know it's not melting at all yeah. on their fur. You can't believe they're dangerous when you see them like this. You just can't believe that they would take your head off. Because they look like big teddy bears. This is just food, right? No problem for him. I didn't listen to what you said, I was so excited about <laughs> doing my first shot. <laughs> <laughs> but those at home will have heard that they were, so it wasn't wasted. Can you get me a fart in the next Star Wars? Yeah, I can arrange that, yeah. <laughs> and not R2D2. <laughs> 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 it's 
seems to do a few swipes and, and take a wee break. It's probably quite tiring when he's got a good hold of his ear now. Yeah. It's funny how you can tell that if they were really trying, they could do each other a lot of damage. Right. But they're not. This is they're, kind of they're, they're, they definitely know that they're just gauging each other's strength as opposed to being in earnest. Yeah. 